We're very pleased to welcome Michael Kramer now here in the studio in London uh, with us, another Nobel laureate, Michael Spence, who, you know, was actually happy to congratulate the other Michael who <laughs> just won the Nobel um, Economics Prize yesterday. It was a big day for you, right? Uh, was it a surprise? It was a complete surprise. Did you get a call? I, I was here in London rather than in Boston, so I, I actually did not get the call. Um, I, I, um, I, I found out when uh, I... Somebody sent me a Skype message, and I thought it was a, a joke, and I didn't pay attention to it. And eventually, I, I realized it was for real. So, and, and this is because of all your work, and thanks to all your work, on, you know, to, how to make poverty a little bit better. Do you think your research will now be used even more by governments? Well, one of the things I'm really excited about is that. This is a, a field that I think has really been flourishing, and you know it's wonderful to share the prize with Abhijit Banerjee and Esther Duflo. But really, there's a huge set of researchers who are who are really pushing the boundaries uh, in this area. And what's exciting is that we now have we now have have we're combining intellectual rigor. Uh, Practical addressing practical problems in health and education and finance and in a range of fields and on the ground engagement. Um, you know, the, there's we we definitely have the an analysis of data and the work with models that economists are known for. But we're and and that's very important to this field. But we're also the nature of the work means that we're directly engaging with. With farmers, with teachers, with school children, with nonprofit organizations, with developing country governments, and that's that that brings a whole range of new insights that we might not have picked up because we might not have thought about how to model those in traditional economic terms. Professor, before I get to the the award and the method that you and others have used here, experimental economics, I've got to ask you: Did you speak to Mr. and Mrs. Gates yesterday? You are the Gates professor. Did you speak to Bill Gates? I, I have not, but uh, but I will I will I look forward to doing it. So. Good, he's, he's writing a check. I recommend you figure that out uh, on, on how to speak to Bill and Melinda uh, Gates. About 10 years ago at AEA, it may have been 15 years ago, I ran in a conference into experimental economics, which was let's go back to the old days and actually go out there and do the research and do the study. So much of this award is a celebration of that approach. Where do we go in the next 10 years with experimental economics, the microeconomics of going out there and actually testing things? Well, I, th I, you, I think there's a, a huge range of issues that, that can be examined with these approaches. Um, you know, a lot of my research started out in, in education and health, but there's people have now looked at a very wide range of issues, things like how to reduce cor uh, corruption, uh, how, to, how to improve financial systems. Um, there's, and so there's a, a, a one set of work which is focused around you know, very practical questions, policy questions. There's another set of work in another area of experimental economics, which is testing underlying economic theories, and in increasingly theories that are coming from psychology as well, and from other parts of social sciences. And I think a big part of the future will be integrating in these practically oriented uh, studies that are, are often trying to come up with solutions to address you know, real world problems with uh, greater and deeper understanding of the underlying theory.